Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on what you don't see coming. This tarot card reading is going to apply from the 22nd of August to the 22nd of September 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Make sure to watch your moon and your rising. We already have a card that has fallen out. It's called Clean It Up. So is there something in your life that you need to clean up during this particular period of time? Could even mean that some of you need to do some spring cleaning and clean your home. So I feel like clean it up can apply to anything in your world. There might be some messy situations that you're involved in. Frank Sinatra was a Sagittarius individual and he was full of life and he always had a messy life. And the reason why is because he had so much fire, so much love for life, so much passion. So some of you can't help it. Give the card the fates and we have a leg up. So I feel like there's some situation in your life that needs to be cleansed. And if you were to cleanse it up, I feel like everything will fall into place beautifully. We have a leg up, which is indicating progress, momentum, change, uh, positivity. The fates is indicating that things come together beautifully. It feels predestined. It feels like that sort of energy. So let's see. What is the current energy? What is around the corner? What is hidden from you? How can you prepare for it? What will it teach you? Where is it leading you? And what are the blessings? Very first card. There's an element in your life that is not where you want it to be. This feels like the energy of either someone manipulating the other individual or perhaps uh, being in a situation where you need to take a closer look. Not everything is as it seems. There's an element of deception here. There's an element of underhanded behavior. Someone could be trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Could be a person, could be a colleague, could be a friend, could be a family member, could be anybody. But I feel like you don't trust anyone at this point in time or perhaps you don't trust as many people as you did before you might have a small circle of people that you completely trust could be your mother or your father or your one sibling that you have whoever it could be but i feel like you don't know if you have you know if everyone has your back it feels like that sort of energy i feel like some of you are on the edge in terms of whatever it is you're dealing with now what is around the corner i feel like there's going to be a lot of movement there's going to be unexpected movement unexpected change i feel like it's going to be positive i feel like it's going to work in your favor this feels like you are the one shooting your arrows it feels like that sort of energy and i feel like perhaps um you know you're marking your territory or you are uh, laying the ground rules for what you're hoping to achieve in your world so that's a very interesting card to come out especially the way it's been interpreted so what is hidden from you i feel like there's potential there's a potential opportunity for, you know, being serenaded with words by a specific person. Someone could come into your world, smooth talking individual. There could be an opportunity to um, chat up someone on the internet or perhaps you meet somebody. There's a possibility of that. I feel like someone may want to get to know you and this could be a very, um, you know, small initiative. It doesn't feel like the chair if you're going to rush into it or it doesn't feel like whatever you're going to be talking about there's no energy of being rushed into it it feels like the type of energy of just you know taking your time and um, enjoying each other's company if this is another person it could even be a person that wants to be your friend too it doesn't have to lead to love right it's not showing that yet so let's see how can you prepare for it i feel like spirit is telling you not to jump to conclusions not to um, you know, lead by the assumption that this individual is automatically into you because they're talking to you, not to feel like, you know, you have to do one thing versus the other. I feel like there's an energy here where spirit is telling you not to, um, you know, basically jump to conclusions. Take a very neutral approach. I feel like spirit is telling you that if they say one thing, don't uh, make an assumption that they mean something else. You know, it feels like that sort of energy. I feel like sometimes people do that and they 
jump to this conclusion, well, this person must be into me or this person must want this and that for me. You know, it's that sort of energy. I feel like Spirit is saying, be neutral in this situation. Don't make a fool of yourself, okay? Very important. So what is it uh, here to teach you? I feel like it's here to give you an idea of the type of happiness you can have in this world. I feel like it's going to make you feel or see that life can lead to... Um, something beautiful it feels like that this person could be a positive influence on your life or they could uh, open your eyes to a whole nother world right so i feel like it's so incredibly important i'm getting from spirit here that um it could be a person that comes into your world and you may want to shoot your arrows but i feel like there's an energy of you not getting ahead of yourself don't get ahead of yourself in this situation because something beautiful could be happening Right, and you don't want to spoil it by having this sort of uh, need to lock it down, have it as you want it to be. Just let it unfold very beautifully, you know. Sometimes you have to take time in relationships. You can't just rush in. And I feel like Sagittarius individuals, they have so much enthusiasm and passion for life. It's not going to be a good idea to just jump at it, right? So let's see, where is it leading you to? It's leading you to uh, a new chapter in your life. It's leading you to something very exciting, something that you can look forward to. I feel like, you know, you may have closed off a certain cycle. Maybe you were dealing with a cheater before. Maybe you were dealing with a deceptive individual, someone that was a backstabber. And if you were, you know, there's someone new that's coming in, coming along potentially, and this person could open your eyes to new possibilities. And I feel like you might be ready for that. So what is the blessing here? The blessing is hindsight. The blessing is, um, you know, having that sort of deeper understanding of life and how it works and why it works a certain way. I feel like you're going to see how the puzzle all fits together. And when you do, you'll realize that, um, you know, you have to go through certain experiences. There's a very interesting saying that goes along the lines of you haven't met everyone that will love you yet. And I feel like that's so incredibly beautiful because it indicates the potential of meeting new soulmates. And just because you've had one difficult situation with a specific person, it doesn't mean that the next person that comes along is going to be like that. I don't feel like it's possible for, um, you know, some zodiac signs to make that mistake twice. I feel like Sagittarius individuals particularly, as well as Aries individuals, once they learn from their mistakes, they don't repeat it. Um, they never go back to a person that is going to... They never go towards another person that's going to cheat on them or lie to them because they recognize it. They see the red flags. They pick up on that. And I feel like uh, you guys have that ability to do so. Right. So let's get one card from the Rumi Oracle deck. So the wound is the place where the light enters you. So this is a very interesting card because it indicates here that if you've been wounded, you need to clean it up. And once you clean it up, you're going to see with the Fates card coming into play and a leg up, there could be someone that comes in and lifts you up and makes you feel like you've never felt before. And this person could genuinely care for you, genuinely want to be there for you. And that's something that's very beautiful to experience, you know. Um, sometimes you meet someone that just doesn't want to take care of you or doesn't want to be there for you. And uh, what can you do? What can you really do in those circumstances? Maybe they were not the right person or maybe a certain situation wasn't the right situation for you. Let's get one card. So the call that I have for you is you are good enough. You may have been second guessing your value. You might have been thinking as if, you know, you don't deserve to be loved. You don't deserve to be cared for. Or perhaps nobody's going to come in and love you the way that you deserve to be loved. And that's not true. I feel like Spirit wants you to know that you are indeed good enough. You're more than good enough. You are everything that the right person will want in their life, you know. So sometimes you meet the wrong person, they mess up. And, you know, people... Sometimes they feel bad about hurting your feelings. Sometimes they don't. And if you find yourself in a position where you want to 
overthink why a person treated you that way or why a person behaved that way. Maybe they're just wired like that. Maybe a certain circumstances uh, were lined up in that sort of way and it wasn't meant to lead to anything that was going to be amazing. So sometimes you have to ask yourself that. I feel like if you went into a situation feeling wounded, feeling hurt and feeling like um, you couldn't handle life or you couldn't deal with a certain situation and you might have brought a certain person into your world inadvertently and so the two of you might have triggered each other mirrored one another caused each other pain it might have been very uncomfortable for you for those of you that went through that experience but what i get from spirit now is that you know if you're willing to look inside of your soul and find the wound you're going to be able to heal your heart you're going to be able to resolve that pain resolve that sadness resolve that emptiness that uh, came along with that individual so I hope you guys have enjoyed your tarot card reading. I hope it has brought you peace of mind and clarity. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. Make sure to watch your moon and your rising. Have a wonderful day and take care.